So the next goal on my list is UMB. I just put in UMB and bam, the first one that comes up is what you're looking for. This is the official UMB website. Um, UMB is a really beautiful, beautiful school. Like the Fredericton campus is very beautiful, expansive. I love the architecture. I love the trees. I love. I just love the ambience of the school. You feel me? So. If you're someone who is in touch with nature and you love it, they do have like a couple trails too and it's close to some other, um, you know, like serene environment. You can just walk out or walk through the neighborhood and all that. It's really nice. So if that's <laughs> your thing, you should watch our our tour of UMB Fredericton and you'll see what I'm talking about, right? So international students. You either go to international or money matters or yeah admission so international international let's go admission international I admission requirements everything is here program specific finances so let's just look for one generic um, so English language based on the program based on so read all of this but I know that we have something based on your country as well so you're not required to submit proof of English language if all of this right so coming to NBCC I didn't need to submit proof of English language just for the fact that I'm from Ghana I have sp uh, spoken English all my life I studied in English from Whenever I was put in school, all the way to university, I work um, in my the work setting, the educational setting, even the home setting, English. So, yeah, probably why other school, uh, other countries here as well. But you need to read all this information. So, don't just listen to what I'm saying and say, ah, I can apply. Just make sure it applies to you. And also, financial information very important. So international undergraduate fee totals so this is for one academic year and for full tuition and fee rates so we're gonna check this out but first let's see so this is the estimated total for international students Fredericton St. John why is it different I don't know I do not work there this is actually the first time I'm looking at financials because I don't go to school there. I don't work there. I don't know what's going on there. So <laughs> I'm also surprised it's a bit different, but uh, probably something. Let's see. So the tuition is more in Fredericton and student fees are more in Fredericton and the residence or meals are more in Fredericton as well. Okay, cool. So that's the reason why. They have a breakdown here so let's say you're looking into um law yeah so law is taking only in fredericton but don't just be breezing through take your time and read everything i'm just breezing through because um this video is about to be hella long so i just want to make it as quick as possible right now so we have uh, student support as well they do have student services that's for sure newsletters how to contact as well you can contact them connect with them and let's check what's under this international tab right so academics admission financial so we already looked through these two living on campus city life and programs so we're gonna check all these three now so academic programs, let's say Fredericton campus and you're looking for something in computer science. Why don't we do business, right? Yeah, because that's my background. So let's do business. Let's do economics and finance. It's a bachelor's and all this information, good information for you to read, careers, everything. Next steps, admission requirements, very important. And international admission requirements. So it brings you back here. You feel me? So <laughs> it's really going to be bringing you back to this website a lot. 
but the money matters is also going to be like um, probably here residence and meal plans is going to be living in residence so I currently live in residence I live in EPJ it's for in quote mature students uh, 21 years or older that's what it says on their website and it's not cheap um, it's cool I mean not so noisy most of the people are like mature students as I see still a couple of kids but that could not be avoided and pretty okay it's not like a hundred percent clean but it's okay it's manageable and <laughs> I think I, I need to talk about this in another video but as I said earlier if you're not gonna be like a UMB student and whatnot probably not the place for you because <sighs> okay so I just go quickly into it why is it not the place for you if you're a mature student and you're not a UMB student then well for EPJ you don't need to buy the meal plan so that's a bonus but then some of their rules are like very strict and stringent when the COVID was becoming pretty serious the rules were only about like taking into consideration UMB students and not taking into consideration non-UMB students that are renting the place so that was one of my main concerns and some other stuff I'm going to talk about probably do like a separate video but if that is your last resort you have not found a place or you're just not looking into you know the stress of your first year in Canada you have to look for a place you have to deal with um, flatmates you don't know there's no regulation no one to report whatever issues you have to then go ahead uh, apply for this place just um, if you're a mature student try to apply for EPJ because as far as I know the other residences it's compulsory to buy a meal plan so we're gonna look into the meal plans as well so let's go to Fredericton residence before you arrive mm -hmm. and please this residence contract read it like a million times read it very 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 well <laughs> Because this thing can mess you up. So read it very, very well. Right. And so this is where I am currently. So EPJ. Mm -hmm. So eight months. You see residence contract is popping up everywhere. Read it extremely well. You're going to find out why once you read it. So uh, rates and fees. So I have done another video about this, um, like tour of the residence, you can check it out. But I'm in a two bedroom suite and this is the total I'm paying for the eight months residence. And the other thing about the other residences, I know that um, during Christmas you need to like move out because that was even how the, the, like, the whole thing, how it works in Ghana, even during Christmas, we like we go home. So definitely we have to not like move all our stuff, just go for the vacation and come back but um it's a bit difficult for international students if you don't have any family i don't have any family here in new brunswick i don't have anywhere to go so i chose epj also because i didn't need to move out and then come back in so i could still be but it became a bit of a mix up at some point that's why i'm saying that you know if this is not your only option this should be like the last option the last thing you think about like <laughs> If you really need a place and you know you got like two months and you don't want to stress yourself out then you can take this place if not don't even worry yourself you're not missing much anywho yeah so you have the payment plans so I also paid with my card for the deposit fee and um, I paid through a Canadian bank for my fees even though I'm not a um, UMB students if you are living in residence they will create a UMB account for you and you have a UMB student card as well that you can use to access um, I think the gym the laundry room and um, the student union the library I guess I've never been to the library so I don't know <laughs> but I guess so yeah so see uh, if you live in one of our traditional style residences, a meal plan is required. 
so I, I I'm not capping I told you so let's see how much the meal plans costs so no limits total and this is separate from your residence fees so <laughs> it's not cheap but anywho yeah so that's it about UMB you can also contact them if you have like questions you can do where is the contact us button uh, let me see so you can connect with the recruiter request information and money matters how to pay I'm pretty sure there is a way and some contact information here mm -hmm. FAQ financial assistant graduate tuition right contact right so all of this here or let's say if we even do contact maybe it's gonna bring it up oh my band contact yeah so a lot of <laughs> that's not really helpful but that's it about UMB